Brett is moving away from the Caribbean islands, and Tropical Storm Cindy is a little bit stronger. What's going on, guys? I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegis, and in this video, we're going to talk about Brett still bringing some impacts to the Caribbean islands, but ultimately going to weaken, and then we'll take a look at where Cindy could go. It looks like that is going to miss the Caribbean to the northeast. First of all, I hope everybody is doing okay after Brett came through last night. Post in the comments where you're watching from and what you saw as the storm rolled on through. Thank you to all the new subscribers and everybody interacting over the past few days. Really love that. There is Brett. You see the thunderstorms over here, the low-level center kind of migrating out ahead of it. Again, under the influence of some wind shear, this was to be expected after it interacted with the Caribbean islands, which are right in through here, the Lesser Antilles. Still some thunderstorms, though. Trinidad and Tobago, we have some thunderstorms around moving up towards Grenada into St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Dominica into Martinique as well. We're seeing some of these thunderstorms kind of trail up. So these are like indirectly related to the storm itself, which is out here, but still some of those feeder bands going into the storm. So we're still going to be dealing with some thunderstorms today, some gusty winds, but by and large, the worst of the storm is over. That happened overnight and early, early this Friday, June 23rd. Here's the latest from the Hurricane Center. Again, just going to continue to gradually weaken as it moves to the west, north of the ABC Islands. Again, could still bring some thunderstorms to the islands and to the northern side of South America as it moves through, but expected to just kind of fall apart after becoming a depression early on Sunday morning. Again, leaving Jamaica alone, leaving the Cayman Islands alone, and then leaving the Greater Antilles, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti all alone. We're done pretty much with Brett in terms of it being an entity. Again, still dodging those thunderstorms on the islands itself. This is a look at Tropical Storm Cindy. And by the way, if you're finding this video helpful or informative and love tracking the weather, hit subscribe. Would love to have you guys on board. Also hit the thumbs up button if you are finding this content helpful and informative. It's breathing pretty easily today. See the outflow there, that kind of white strip coming through. So it is kind of breathing on all sides, meaning it's going to try to strengthen a little bit. Still not that well organized so to speak we don't have thunderstorms really wrapped around the center it's kind of hard to find where the center is still just by looking at it from the infrared satellite channel nonetheless cindy is a little bit stronger today again it's expected to kind of just drift off to the north and west likely missing all of the caribbean i know i had a lot of questions about people going to barbados or saint lucia Towards the end of the month, this is not going to impact you again. We're going to be great in the Virgin Islands as well. This is going to miss us. Might be a little rocky here. Might be a little uh, some wave action, so to speak, towards Puerto Rico, towards uh, the Leeward Islands. But by and large, again, this system is going to gradually strengthen into a strong tropical storm and then weaken once it gets north of Puerto Rico, which is right here, Dominican Republic right there, and then there are the Turks and Caicos. This is going to continue to head up in this direction, it looks like, so we are going to watch this closely for Bermuda. There we are right there where that check mark is, little island on the screen. So we're going to watch that for some inclement weather, but you see the color change here from the Hurricane Center. It goes to that white D that means that it is becoming post-tropical. So the Hurricane Center also believing that this is not going to be a huge, huge player. Latest models just coming in. Again, the 12Z run, the morning run, the 8 a.m. run uh, just coming in. And again, there is going to be good consensus here with the models to take this up and out away from the Caribbean. Again, going to watch that closely, though, for our friends in Bermuda. I want to show you the tropics as a whole now. So this is the entire basin-wide satellite. We have a lot of thunderstorm uh, activity going on in parts of Central America. I do think we are going to get an opportunity for two tropical cyclones to develop in the eastern Pacific. Those aren't going to impact land. But if you're watching from Panama or Costa Rica, Honduras, Nicaragua, those thunderstorms are not related to Brett, which is still hanging out right here. Big upper low still continues to park itself over the southeast corner of the U.S. That is why it's been so active in this part of the world as well. Through Florida, some rain moving to the eastern seaboard. It's been hot as anything in Texas. And this blocking pattern is going to continue. It's the reason why, if you happen to be tuning in from the plains, it's been so stormy. And it's the reason why it's been so stormy in the southeast as well, because this omega block kind of chilling right over there across much of the U.S. Anyway, back to the tropics. Here is Cindy. We already took a look at that projected movement, and that's going to head in that direction. Watching a couple of waves that are kind of like string beans today. They came off nice and juicy, but again, the environment is not as conducive as it just was a week ago in that area. These are pretty far south as well. So we may look for uh, moisture flux into Trinidad and Tobago in a week, 
and into uh, parts of the Caribbean. But you see right here, big chunk of high pressure. Let me change my telestration. Big high right there. Clockwise flow. The storm is going to continue to roll across just like that. So here is Brett as of Sunday, June 25th. Here is Cindy as of Sunday, June 25th. And I just want to show you this from just from the moisture influx. So some tropical moisture is going to be heading towards the Lesser Antilles. We're not going to be looking at anything, I don't think, organized. So if you're heading in that direction, certainly if you are living here, I think we're going to ramp up the moisture return in this part of the world. But it does not appear that there's going to be anything strong. Here is June 30th, the morning of June 30th. And you see, again, this is mainly the moisture associated with the intertropical convergence zone. You get the trade winds coming that way, trade winds coming that way. You fire up storms in here, and then those kind of blast northern South America. We had the issue a lot last year in Trinidad and Tobago with a lot of flooding. Interesting, the GFS, this is what we're looking at here, does kind of ramp up or keep uh cindy pretty strong as it lifts towards bermuda so that's going to be something we are going to watch but again the likelihood of it missing the caribbean there right there is bermuda it's kind of hard to see zoomed out like this with the whole atlantic view but that is what we have going for us all righty guys thank you so much for tuning in again i hope everything is okay on the islands please let me know in the comments what you saw last night if you went through what was Tropical Storm Brett, what still is Tropical Storm Brett, but the worst of it is over for the Caribbean. Again, if you're watching from the United States, it's going to remain very, very hot in Texas, very stormy in the plains, and very wet in the southeast because of a blocking pattern that just won't shut down. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you like talking about the weather and tracking the weather, and we will catch you next time.